This movie tells a story about Ava, who is a deathly assassin who works for a black ops organization traveling the globe specializing in high profile hits. When a job goes dangerously wrong, she is forced to fight for her own survival. This movie is a stunning bore from start to finish. It's one of the most generic action films in recent memory, ripping off countless better assassin thriller movies and giving nothing back in return. It has a litany of cliches, tortuously dull plot, and stale action. It also tries to combine a dull spy thriller and a dumb family melodrama with mommy and daddy issues, a complicated love triangle, and substance abuse, all in one movie. Together, all of these half-baked storylines, plus every tight cliché you can think, gives you Ava, a movie that cannot rise above its dull script no matter how seriously it takes itself. This bland action thriller simply saddled with too much soapy baggage. It's tough in large part because it's taking itself embarrassingly seriously. The narrative's completely lacking of energy and urgency. It's not slick or exciting in any way, with the director particularly showing no ability to inject any of the film's fight scenes or shootouts with any ingenuity, wit, fun, or even brutality. Jessica Chastain's performance is not anything that has not been done by countless performers before, and it's certainly not the best use of her considerable talent. Her performance is a mostly bland and empty impersonation of other action heroes. Chastain's character actually has the potential to be interesting. She's a recovering alcoholic and drug addict who tends to follow her own moral compass rather than that of her employers. Unfortunately, when the story gets personal, this film also gets rather perplexing. The film has absolutely no idea how to unpack all the personal subplots and traumas associated with these naughty relationships. It's too bad the movie does not give Chastain much to do in between fights, other than stare longingly at hotel minibars due to her drinking problems. The romantic angle also feels unnecessary, it's half-baked, miscast, and full of wooden acting. It's basically pointless time-wasting subplot that's going nowhere. The decent fight scene laid into the film between Chastain and Farrell, it's also one you can tell is coming within the first 15 minutes of the film, rendering anything that happens before it completely useless. In the end, with far too many pointless subplots and too few action scenes, this movie is a complete waste of time. <laughs>